and an unpolarized light passes through two polarizer sheets. If the intensity of the transmitted light is 20% that of the original light, what is the angle between the transmission axes of the two polarizer sheets? So the incoming light is an unpolarized light. At first, it goes through one polarizer. Let's say the transmission axis is in this direction. So the light becomes polarized after that first polarizer. And then it goes through a second polarizer that is at an angle theta to the first one. Therefore, only the electric field in this direction gets to go through. And uh, we're told this uh, light that comes out has an intensity that is 20% the intensity of that original light. So let's say if the unpolarized light has an intensity I0, after it goes through the first polarizer, only half the intensity is going to go through. So by the time it gets polarized, the intensity has become one half I0. And then the, this is the electric field, and uh, we only get e the electric field's component along this direction to go through. So we need to find the electric field's component along this direction. And since the, the component along this direction is adjacent to the angle, that means uh, the component is uh, the original electric field times uh, cosine theta. The electric field is the amplitude. The intensity is amplitude squared. So for intensity, we need to multiply by cosine squared theta. And this will give us uh, 1 half I naught times cosine squared theta, which is supposed to be 20% of the original intensity I naught which means uh, 1 half times cosine squared theta equals to 20%, percent point two. Therefore, cosine theta must equal to the square root of 0.4. So if we do the inverse cosine square root of uh, 0.4, we will get the angle to be 50.8 degrees. And that's the angle between these two axes.